Hello, New Life Academy. This is Miss Palmquist here. Um, if you do not know me, I am the fourth grade teacher, and this is my second year teaching at New Life Academy, and I have just loved every second of it. Every student, parent, um, teacher that I have come across, they just have been so loving and supportive these last two years, and I just am so thankful for that. Um, what crazy times we are in right now. I know that we are so close to the finish line and I think during these times it gets us to think um, of the what ifs and we get to the point where we think, oh, I wish I was doing that. I wish I could do this. And I just think um, and challenge you to be grateful for what God has placed right in front of you here and now. Um, I'm such a person that likes to think of the future. I like to know what's coming. And obviously with all of this, it's kind of uh, challenged me to not think about the future and to know that God has us right where we need to be right here now. And um, so recently, one of the things I've been doing to help me think about the things I have right in front of me is I've actually been writing three things every night that I'm grateful for that current day. And it has just given me a whole new perspective on just allowing myself to feel what God has placed in my life. Um, my brother and sister-in-law lived in Sweden this past year and they moved in with us um, about two months ago and they have a little boy Asher and I just know that if we weren't in the times that we are in right now I wouldn't be spending as much time um, getting to know my little nephew Asher and so it's just little things like that that I'm so so grateful for and I just pray and challenge all of you to maybe it's not journaling maybe that's not something you like to do but just to before you go to bed just pray and thank God for what he has for you in the right here and now and just um, let him deal with what's in the future if we put our hope and trust in him it will all work out it may not be the plan that we had for ourselves or the plan that we had for ourselves or the thought process we thought um, what the future was going to look like but um, God does have such an amazing plan for every single one of you and I know that if we can just put our trust in him that this will all work out for the good. Um, so this summer I especially um, encourage you to keep diving into the word um, keep having family time that is centered around um, Christ and I just uh, Hope you guys all enjoy the last three days of school and just know that God's got this and God has you um, wrapped around his finger and he just loves you all so very much and whatever you're going through we'll get through this together and I just um, wish you all the best this summer and yeah shout out to my fourth grade class love you all because I'm Hello everybody, um, hope you're doing well. This is Miss, okay, nope. God has, um, 